Hey there, my name is Jonathan. I'm director and co-founder here at Raiden. And uh, just one of the checklist items that we need to do as we onboard you as one of our clients is to make sure that we're invited into your Zero data. Now we've done this video before, but Zero in November 2018 updated their menu system. So we just wanted to run through it again to make sure that you are able to find your way through. So here we can see we're in our demo company made up limited and we're going to go over and now try and invite a new user into our account. So if you click where you've got the company name at the top, it should give you a drop down and you can go into settings. It's quite a big change from where you used to go before in the old menu system. So if you've been struggling to find where it is, hopefully this is helpful. You'll then see on the left, you can go into users and this will load up a list of the existing users in Zero as it stands at the moment. Now it's really good actually every time you invite someone into your Zero data to check this list and just make sure that everyone on here who has access should have access. And if they don't, now's the time to click on those three drop downs and maybe change their permissions or remove that user if they should no longer be there. And this is where we add a new user. So if you complete their first name, last name and email address in those boxes in front of you, you then want to go down and click the business and accounting button here. This effectively gives them the access into Zero. If you don't tick that, they won't actually be able to get into anything. Now, if you're advising, uh, if you're inviting us as your accountants and your advisors into your Zero data, it's really important that you click this advisor tab because that makes sure that we get all the control and, and access that we need to to be able to really support you and help you get the most out of Zero. The other thing that's really important for us is to make sure that on manage users here, we click this box. That means that we can then invite in our other team members to be able to help you as well. It, it won't just be kind of myself or Beth doing all the work for you. We do have other guys here in the team who will be helping you, making sure we're delivering your daily bookkeeping uh, and your kind of weekly updates and monthly reconciliations. So we do need that box tick so that we can buy in the rest of our team. Once that's done, you can click send invite at the bottom and that's it. What I would say is when you are inviting us, make sure that the person you invite is either myself or Beth, um, as I say, just so that we can get the right access to everyone in their team. But that's it. If you've got any other questions, as you know, you can ask us. There's, there's no hidden charges for getting in touch. We want you to ask us questions. We want to help you as you go along. So please, either via the website, social media, give us a call uh, and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks.